Hello and welcome to your two drunk aunties with Bron Lewis and Sammy Peterson. We are both of those people. I'm Sammy Peterson and I'm your auntie who is gently rocking in the corner. And I'm your auntie who's always reminding you how beautiful she was in her 20s. (laughs) Welcome to your two drunk aunties. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Sammy Peterson. I'm a comedy man, producer, podcaster, drunk auntie, and my favourite comedian is Bron Lewis. <laughs> I have never missed a Bron oh. Lewis show in my mm. life. That mm. is confirmed and that is exactly who <laughs> I am as a person. And I'm Bron Lewis. I'm a comedian, if you'd ever come to a show, writer, mother, drunk auntie, and one of my favourite pastimes is inviting my esteemed colleague, Sammy Peterson to my shows, knowing full well he will not come. You know that we had a great catch up when we went and saw a show together and you brought one of your friends <laughs> and I yeah. was like, you know, and you've always gone, you've never come and seen me live. You've never come and seen a show. Is of this mine. what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, you're saying, saying that. Yeah, no, I so I, say I, that. yeah but you I would, would be that. a bit more aggressive in my yeah. impression of you. It's like, <laughs> you never come and see Something like that. <laughs> guttural, this guttural anger that comes out of you. <laughs> just spitting. <laughs> just spitting. But so I've never come and seen your show and that is, that is confirmed. And you promised. You and I have promised many times. I yeah. I I can't be trusted. I'm a real snake in the grass. And you're never flat. You'd never stop flapping your goddamn lips about this. You yeah. are you are angry about it. <laughs> and then your friend who you brought along to the show was like, I've never been either. And yeah. we connected over well, none she's of a your mother friends. Of three ever. Small children. Oh my god, I've got a dog <laughs> and quite a big dog. <laughs> That's my excuse for everything. I can't come, I've got a dog. <laughs> Gee, I'd love to come, but my dog's at home. Oh, okay. I, during the fest, Melbourne Festival where I Melbourne International my, Comedy Festival. Correct, yeah. Say the performed, whole thing. Or people I performed, talking about. performed it 23 times. 23 times, yeah. really? Yeah, I did. At and there were so many opportunities. And I bumped into you at least twice in, in the, the city. In the same venue? No. <laughs> no just <laughs> never. Just in your green room? Absolutely never. And across the road from my venue, there was a yeah. sushi hub. And I bumped into you there. You were with... Rob Mills. Rob Millsy Mills. At Rob Mills Mills. You could use his handle. I don't know who you're talking about. At Rob Millsy Mills. And you looked so sheepish because it was right near the end of the run. And you had recommended my show on one of your platforms. (laughs) So you were like, guys, these are people you You need to see. Bro, what are you doing here? (laughs) So when I saw you, I was like, oh, this is awkward. You uh, and you looked very disgusted in yourself. Was it my facial palsy? No. Because no. you're always bringing that up. It was up. your truth. Was I would truth. never. That was my truth. It was your truth. It and was, like I let you sit in that, yeah. like in that, in your own shit for a while. What if I told you that I came to every <laughs> show and the bit that you do about them kids is good? <laughs> oh my God. Do you know I was at a gig the other night and I was Breaking. doing news stuff, yeah, and, and, I, and I did stuff about kids and the comedian after me, because I've got kids, right. the comedian after me, he did stuff about kids. Okay. And then the person who was on the third, a very well-known comedian, he went Don't over to, kids. No, he went over, he went over to the, the room runner and said, I hate. I hate her. When people do stuff about kids, it's so annoying. What? Yeah. But what else would I do? Well, you can talk about uh, being an gorgeous auntie? hair. You've got That's gorgeous nice. hair. Being a drunk auntie. You got gorgeous hair. That's true. You can talk okay. about that. And in my twenties, I look pretty good. You can talk about your best friend, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's never been to one of your my shows. Shame. He's my such God. a good friend, God. He's, he's never been to one so of my shows. Good. But he's got a big dog, so he can't cut. You're he's, telling people. <laughs> God, he's got a huge dog. Yeah, that's how I opened every single one of my shows. <laughs> hey, guys, I know what you're thinking. Where's Sammy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking it too, but I reckon it's because he's got a huge dog. <laughs> or he's always hanging out with at Rob Mills and Mills. He's at Sushi Hub across the he's road. He's at Sushi Hub. <laughs> he's getting a quick sush. God, he's busy. <laughs> Not doing anything on Swanson Street in the CBD. <laughs> It's time for segment one, Letter to Your Aunties. Mm-hmm, now, Bron, us. we are two drunk aunties. We're just swaying in the breeze, <laughs> having a good time. And you can actually write to us if you want. Yeah. If you want. You don't have to. We're you're not, not pressuring talking you. to me right now. You're talking to our listeners. Listener. I'm, not going, I'm talking to you. I'm not going you're to my write one to you listener. <laughs> you can write to me if you're there. That quite nice, actually. I'd love to get your phone number. <laughs> Send you a text. I'd love that. But you can actually write into us. We have. A email, an email, I should say, an email, deardrunkaunties at gmail.com or you can go on speakpipe.com slash drunkaunties. We'll put all of that in the show notes. Mm, mm. 
Mm. And I reckon there's going to be some excellent letters. Excellent <laughs> letters. And we look forward to them. Now, I've got two gorgeous letters today from our wonderful, wonderful listeners. Now, I put this out on my podcast, Confessions, and I got two little little, little emails that came oh through. Oh, my God. That's Remember beautiful. Yeah, that's how popular my podcast is. What was is. your reaction? Two yeah, that's good. <laughs> I, got, I was flooded. I've got two <laughs> emails here. What was your reaction when they came in? Were you, were you like giddy? I was giddy. God, I was yeah. giddy. I was so excited. I was yeah, like, I'm, I can't. I was a little bit drunk, a little bit tipsy <laughs> talking at someone about my big dog and saying, have you seen Bron Lewis? God, you got to watch Bron Lewis. And they're going, oh, great. When did you see her? I haven't, but you, you need to see I've got a dog. It was like one time I heard someone talking about their trip to Italy in, mm. in a cafe really loudly. They're going, you have, you have to go to Italy yeah. and blah, blah, and went for ages. And then someone was like, when did you go? I go, oh, I've never been. It's just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live your dream. But can you go and tell me what it's like? <laughs> Dear aunties, I thought I'd write in to ask your advice on what I should do. My boyfriend James and I have Mm. been together for six years. Break up with him. Yeah, it's too long, (laughs) isn't it? It's way too long. Six years, my goodness. Everything in our life has been going really well. We've just moved in together, have shared bank accounts, and are now saving for a house. How gorgeous is this? That seems like so many things like all of a sudden? All of a sudden, yeah. Someone has put the heat on. Like someone has gone, what are Who's we doing? Who's applying pressure? Do you think it's – Well, obviously not James. He sounds not useless. James. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Go, get rid of him. He's out in the, bin, in, the bin for, <laughs> in the bin for James. There's one problem and that is that James has a creepy doll that I didn't find out about until we moved in together. It's from his grandmother and was her doll when she was a child, but it is creepy. I hate it and I don't know what to do. I've tried talking to him about it, but he just thinks it's really sweet that he's being gifted this doll. Sophie. I told you. I told you. He's an idiot. <laughs> he's an idiot. He's yeah. an idiot to have a doll. A dolly. A dolly. Come on. God, grow, up, to grow up. Grow James, up. For share God's your sake. bank account with me. <laughs> With you? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant Sophie. No, no, you. No, Sophie's already done that. Yeah, okay. But if she's looking <laughs> for another advice. another person in. Bron has entered the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you're going to be generous, James, just share it round. Share it round. Not okay. your doll, though. No one wants it. No one wants your creepy, creepy Dolls doll. Dolls in the olden days were scary. They can be a bit scary. And their eyes were like glass. Do you have a doll? As in the older yeah. days. In the older days. How old do you think I am? You are 57 years old <laughs> <least>. today. Happy <laughs> birthday, Bron. <laughs> No, but the dolls, their eyes never opened at the same time. Yeah. They always had like same. quite sad. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop bringing up the facial palsy. Oh, my God. No, they, and they had like really weird long eyelashes that were very coarse. They quite might. sexy, actually. <laughs> what I'm thinking right now is quite sexy. I think, they were, they, I think they actually used like animal products to make them. Like I think their eyelashes might have been horse hairs or something. And the skin of a leopard. Exactly. Is that true? <laughs> Can we check this? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sophie. I think that what I think mm. what needs to happen is the doll mm. needs to be put away, or James needs to give his entire bank account to you. Wow, and you? Well, obviously, that, that's that's probably the only thing. Would would you look? Like what I would do, right? What would you do? I would do something a little bit different. I okay. would buy an even creepier doll. Oh, and I would put that right next to the other doll. And what would you say? Like this was from my nan. Yeah, this is from my nan. This is Dolly. This is my nan's <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> And I would put it there, and yeah. I would make it even and I would I would make it talk. Oh, I would like make it when talk. you're in the other room, just like yeah. throwing your voice, mama, mama. <laughs> something fun like that, something relatable, James. something fun. Yes, <laughs> come kiss Dolly before bed. Something like that, and I'd make it talk. I'd sit with it on the couch yeah, all the okay. time. Oh. I'd be feeding it popcorn, having right. a few frothies. No, yeah, you know what, it's like. Dolly loves you know what I'm them. like. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly and me, we love our frothies. Blow the top off a couple of frothies. <laughs> TGIM, thank God it's Monday, am I right? <laughs> I totally always say that. It's Monday somewhere. It's Monday. <laughs> oh my God, it's Monday. Yeah, so just make the doll talk. Heaps. Yeah, and the point of this is what, like, to then he, then he will go. This is creepy. I think we should get rid of our dolls. Do you think so? I think so. I wow. think well, maybe put them in the cupboard or burn them. Just torture them. Burn them both. But if her doll, maybe her doll, his doll is mm. like haunted, okay. and if you burn them, they'll come back for you. For some beers. That sounds spooky, doesn't I'm, it? Yeah, it sounds like I'm actually quite scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I, didn't, I, I think we need to put a warning before this podcast. This is a scale we want. <laughs> we'll get another one today. Dear aunties, I recently saw my friend's boyfriend on Tinder. 
I've yeah. subtly asked if they're in an open relationship, but they are not. Mm. What do I do? Amy. Uh, Have sex with him. Oh, my God. Would you do that? I Have would. sex with yes. him? Yes. No, I wouldn't. I don't do that. Okay. I don't, I don't do that. You don't do sex or no, you don't, I don't do, do sex it. with other people's boyfriends? No, I don't have it anymore. God, you are a prude. It always ends days. in a baby. Okay. Every time. I'd rather that goes for a dolly. No, it is. I would, if I saw that, that now this has never happened mm. to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. However, I think if I saw that, I would probably contact him and be like, what do you oh, do? Oh, would with? you? Was yeah. a screenshot? I've yeah. got evidence. I've got a paper trail here. No, just say, yeah. Got my receipts. Exactly. Yeah, you just have to. Yeah. You're like, what are you doing? Like, because you don't want to be. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you got mad again. <laughs> God, I got mad. I blacked out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Why is everything I broken? <laughs> <laughs> everything's broken around you. Just everything shattered. What did I do? <laughs> did Someone I... must be cheating. I smell a cheater. <laughs> I reckon I'd have to get them to do because you don't want to be the one breaking the news. It's so bad breaking bad news oh to my someone. God. Yeah, I revel in it. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, I love it. What would yeah. you say to her? Gotta get rid of that dolly. No, I would <laughs> I would I would tell her, I would say, look, he's a cheater. Would you say that? Yeah, I would say it. I would well, say what if she started crying? You'd have to deal with that. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd walk, walk straight away. <laughs> walk away. I'd jump my on my dog is done. and I'd ride away. <laughs> <laughs> jump on my – so I have – no, I'd go, I'm so sorry you're crying. I have to go. I have a massive dog at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for riding in, everybody. No, and also because – but also if you break the news and any time yeah. they think back to that moment, oh, you're that's stuck true. with that yuck feeling yeah, for them. Okay. Yeah, okay. And maybe you don't want to be their friend anymore. If you don't want to be their friend anymore – Break the news. I would just create lots of different accounts and try and match with him. And then I would meet him. I would meet him and he would know as soon as he got there. No, he wouldn't know as soon as he got there that it was me because I'd be in a disguise. Yes, with a single red rose in your teeth. Single red rose in my teeth, a little sexy, like I'd get a little bob. <laughs> a little sexy little bob. I'd have these really nice like sunglasses on, bright red <laughs> lips. And he'd go, who is this atomic blonde over here? And... <laughs> Blondes have more fun. I have heard that. And then he would he would want to he would want to get on that. He would want a piece of me. And then I would pretend for a bit, maybe <laughs> maybe have sex with him. I don't know. This is absolutely where it's going. All you want to do is mm. have sex with him. All I want to do is have. What sex What are with your him. feelings about James, the man with the doll? <laughs> I want to have sex. with Yeah, we go. I want a menage a trois with him <laughs> and the doll. That's all I want. <laughs> Drunk on is Randy. <laughs> Randy. Now, look, if you want to send us a letter, we would love to hear from you. Drunk, mm. uh, uh, dear drunk aunties at gmail.com or speakpipe.com slash drunk aunties. Right in. Call right in. in. Call oh, in we want it. We'll we, will solve it. We, we just solve two we just so solve two. easily. Next. Yeah, exactly. we'll wait. In the show notes. Go and click on it if you want. Have a little click. Yeah, have a little click. Before we get mad and Bron yeah. breaks everything again. <laughs> But just a recap, like when we when I say we solved it, my brain was like, "Did you though?" And then I look back at it. What what was our advice for the doll? Just chuck it in, burn it, burn it. Was okay, the, yeah. Was look, the advice. look, that's a pretty drunk auntie <laughs> response. And then the next but that's one, our brand. That is, the next one is buy a wig. Yep, and, and fuck him. So use, him. <laughs> use it for sex. You're right. We did solve them. <laughs> I, no, feel, I pun- feel good. I couldn't feel better about it. <laughs> that is perfect. God, we're going to get so many letters. Cheers, Bron. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> segment two today, we have got live, laugh, love. Now, in this segment, I'm going to find the best jokes each week. And, Bron, I'm going to read them to see if I can make you laugh, but also yeah. if I can get a gorgeous little rating from you for these jokes. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, you're a comedian. I come and see you all the time. Oh, my God. You are so good at what yeah, you do. The I bit about your saying. husband when you're like, I oh. don't have a husband. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> You do have a gorgeous partner. Can I say partner? What do you say? Do you say partner? I, but I hate the word because it makes me sound like a detective. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not You're a detective. Partner. I'm You're a comedian. Not. You'd never You're know. You're a few days away from retirement. <laughs> You're that sort of detective. No, you got a, you got a, you got a loving boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say. You got yeah. a loving boyfriend. And look, I'm gonna, I'm going to. You know, I love the bits that you do about your boyfriend. Is what I'm gonna say. I've never never done a bit Love it about when you do him. that. It's yeah. like, hey, uh, men and women are so different. <laughs> I love that bit that you do. That's my favourite. Oh, yeah, that bit. <laughs> that bit right. that you do. It's so, it's so original. Thanks so much for liking <laughs> Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> We've got this one. My mum died when we couldn't remember her blood type. 
Oh, my God. As she died, she kept telling us to be positive. But it's hard without her. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> you sound like you love it. Look, if I'm honest, I forgot what the segment was at the start. Okay. And I thought it was a letter. And I was like, that's actually really sad. <laughs> oh, that's why you said, oh, my God. It <laughs> yeah. wasn't because it was a joke. You're like, it's a bit dark. Don't like this one bit. <laughs> yeah, my reaction was wrong. I, would, I should have been like, okay, where's this going? But at the start, I was like, this person's a fucking horrible yeah, person. Yeah, horrible. This, this podcast shouldn't go to air. That's what I was thinking. I was like, we've made a huge mistake. <laughs> huge mistake over here. <laughs> be positive. Uh, look, I think it's very clever. Play on words. I yeah. didn't laugh. No, you didn't laugh. Not no, because I was really upset. You were upset at the start. I was maybe upset. maybe I was upset came in with different context. <laughs> it might be okay. If you knew that it was a joke. Nah, still wouldn't have loved it. I, I would say I reckon that is a, like, if I, a five out of ten. Five out of ten? Yeah, because I could say it to my kids. Oh, yeah, okay. They still wouldn't get it. They wouldn't get but it. But I could say it. And they'd be worried if you framed it as a letter <laughs> as well. <laughs> we just got a letter in. Yeah, they're like, is grandma dead? <laughs> yes, I forgot her blood type. And then, but I would, uh, yeah, I'd say five out of ten. But if, if a comedian said that on stage. Yep. Look, because I'm a comedian. Oh, wow. And I perform on stage okay. sometimes. Yep. If I said that on stage, I would hope that people would ask me to quit. Wow. I wouldn't because I'd be down at Sushi Sushi. <laughs> you wouldn't be there. That's I wouldn't right. be there. Today on a drive, I decided to visit my childhood home. I asked the people living there if I could come inside because I was feeling nostalgic. But they refused and slammed the door in my face. Mm-hmm. My parents are the worst. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I hated it. You hated that. I whole really thing. hated that one. Okay. 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 Oh God, you, you got mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you did you is your childhood home still occupied by your parents? Yes. But they haven't slammed the door in my face. <laughs> my parents are the worst. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> my grief counselor died. He was so good, I don't even care. Oh. It's a thinker, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's a thinker. It takes a, a while. It takes a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um not for yeah, you. It's not for me. <laughs> Look, I'm just hoping you get a good one in here. Otherwise, this segment's gone to the dogs. Huge dog. You've got Huge one. Huge dog. I've got one and I have to go. <laughs> when does a joke become a dad joke? When it leaves you and never comes back. Oh. It's a sad one again. It's, it's sad, sad, but it's I like letter. it. <laughs> another sad letter. <laughs> it's James. <laughs> Thanks, James. That's another sad letter. I liked it. Why does Miss Piggy cover herself with honey? Because Kermit likes his pork sweet and sour. Wow. <laughs> I'm, That's I'm, a bit sexy, that one. <laughs> sexy. That's a bit of a sexy one. Hey, Frog, you're quite sexy in that one. <laughs> it's a bit of a sexy one. Also, none of it makes sense because she never covers herself in honey. I know her personally. <laughs> she actually, wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it. She's That's not her brand. Is she really yep. a pig vegan? <laughs> okay. Pig, pig. Everyone says pigs eat everything, not Miss Piggy. <laughs> She's got lovely she, hair. She does gorgeous hair. I love her so much. <laughs> How about this one? Okay. What do you get when you cross a dick with a potato? Oh, a God. dictator. <laughs> I laugh. Yeah. I that laugh. was my last one. That's good. I laugh. You I laughed. Laugh. You I laughed. laughed. I How laugh. many out of ten? What do you rate now? Oh, I think even less than five because <laughs> I couldn't wow. say it to my kids. Out of five. Five out of five. I'm here for parenting tips. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this podcast is. Say that to my kids. You can't. You cannot. Say I cannot. It. I'm here to try and break the ice with my children. <laughs> is that okay? what this is about? Yeah. Why don't can't speak? As I don't talk to him. <laughs> Not yet. He's 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't talk yet. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So I'm just waiting for a joke to break yep. the ice. Yep. And that one can't use. Too rude. Too rude. Bit funny. Yep. Too rude. Is it is it helping you? You think in coming up with your show for next year? I don't do rude jokes. You don't do. You rude. know that though. I know that though. <laughs> <laughs> I know that though. I know you don't do rude jokes. I don't do rude jokes. You wouldn't do that. Sex makes me very uncomfortable. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So you don't talk about it. Never. So Miss Piggy, furious at that <laughs> one. <laughs> furious. <laughs> What's gross? That <laughs> one's so upsetting. What's your show called next year? <laughs> Obviously. That's a good title. I like Thank that. Thank you. Do I've like come up it? with a, I've come up with a new title for a show. What? TV like this. You've you can got- you can have this. You can have this if you okay. want. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I already oh, paid it. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. This oh, okay. one's good. This one's good. See if it's good. If See if it's you've good. Told you told me it's good. It's yeah. gonna be good. Hi, depressed. I'm dead. <laughs> Feels good. I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> It's got, and it's actually really my style. Yeah, yeah, because I do heaps of stuff about mental illness and heaps <laughs> yeah. of stuff about my dad. Yeah, great. that's funny. Yeah, 
And also, I'm a dad. You are a dad. And I'm depressed. <laughs> you can have it. That's yours now. <laughs> I'm depressed now. <laughs> Professionally. Let's go to the next segment. Oh, my God. I feel... Spooky wookie. Yes. 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 Spooky wookie. So, I spent a lot of time yeah. reading spooky stories. You're so good at reading. I thank you. <laughs> thank you so Literacy, much. I went 10 out of 10. <laughs> Got my kids' reports back yesterday. Uh, they're all, they're all just absolutely fine. Well, they can't speak, but they can't fine. speak. <laughs> they can write really well. Cannot. Yeah. <laughs> now you might want to have your nightlight on right now because Bron has found a spooky, spooky story. It's really spooky. Is it really spooky? It's really spooky. Yeah. It's and about a I, creepy doll. Uh, yeah, it's from James. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Okay. So I read a, a bunch. Yeah. And this one, I was like, I think this is the right one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ouija boards. Have you, been, what, have you experienced a Ouija board before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, I moved it around and the ghost just wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone is in <laughs> love with you. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Uh, so, the title is called Ouija Board Knocks Back. Okay. 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 Who's there? Is it that sort of joke? Is this a joke? <laughs> knock, knock. Ouija knock, board. knock. Who's there? Ouija board. A Ouija board. Who? Spooky. You're going to die. Move out of the house right now. <laughs> is that the vibe? I'm a dead kid. <laughs> yes. Didn't laugh at that, by the way. <laughs> that was not me laughing. No. That was someone else. My dog. That was a massive dog. From huge. The side of the room. Huge dog. He's so good. <laughs> okay. In high school, my friends and I were messing around with a Ouija board. Okay. 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 We had done it before and nothing remarkable had ever happened. We usually did. Not doing it right. Yeah, well, exactly. Not enough dead Lazy. kids. Lazy. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Invite them. Maybe they'll come. <laughs> Didn't laugh again. The dead kids thing. <laughs> We usually, we usually did it to try and scare each other. We all thought it was a joke. Yeah, well, you would. Hey, hey, Because hey. Ouija boards I don't know. are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never thinking of – my sides are split over here. There's nothing funnier about an Ouija board. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you work with it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Is that your Ouija board? <laughs> do you know how to spell Ouija board? Uh O U I J I A. You were so close. Oh, no. I couldn't vomit. O U I J A. Don't I win? Now tell me what I don't win. <laughs> it's so- a leg of ham. <laughs> that leg of ham right there that you brought in is that not for me anymore? <laughs> no. I'll be eating that on the way home. It's Miss Picky. <laughs> Miss Picky. Covered in that meat. <laughs> Sweet and sour. Very nice, Kermit. Lucky Kermit. We all thought it was a joke. Okay. Okay. That night. There was no one home except for the seven of us girlfriends, oh, and we were all together I'd like to be around there. <laughs> the Ouija board. Hello, Christmas. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, Jack. Am I saying that right? Oh, well, Jack. <laughs> yeah. I think I nailed it. <laughs> Every time, correcting yourself. The other day, I said to someone, "Hey, um, <laughs> hey, I'm um, sat, sat. So I can never get that right." And they just looked at me like, "Sam." <laughs> Can never get that right. And then they fell in love with you. And they fell in love with me. Oh deeply. my god! Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but I have the biggest dog. <laughs> this is not spooky vibes. It is. Okay, oh, we can put spooky music under this. Okay, good. It's quite nice. If you could hush those sweet lips of yours. Stop flapping my goddamn lips. <laughs> Stop that. Stop flapping your goddamn lips. Okay, there were seven of us, and we're all together around the board. One of the girls there wanted to try it. Which would make sense if you were to see around it. Hell yeah. <laughs> the Give me a go with that old up. <laughs> Just one person that pronounces it really oddly and no one corrects them. <laughs> Did you say that again? I'll vomit. Like, that's how happy it makes me. You're so happy. You always vomit when you're happy. <laughs> okay. Nightmare to be around. Sushi, sushi. <laughs> Not a plug. Oh, God. <clears throat> She'd never done it before. Okay? Okay. This time was <laughs> different. This time, it was different this time, Sam. Okay? okay? Yep. The board misspelled some of the words the same way every time. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not good at spelling. <laughs> Grammatically not great. <laughs> <laughs> it gave answers that uh, seemed really historically accurate. Okay. Um, things we never knew or cared about in our town. Okay. okay. Moon landing. <laughs> but also, how would they know they were real? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah. hard. Anyway, spelled the same things wrong every time, which is crazy. So wild. But Spook- I wouldn't even think that they would be good at <laughs> grandma. I don't know. I don't, no, they're dead kids. Dead kids. Ah, I didn't the reason they, it's, <laughs> it's the reason why they're dead. Uh, long story short, 
which is incredible. Yeah. It's, it's I like short story long. <laughs> <laughs> short story long. Put more in. Yeah, put more in if you can. Uh, the spirit claimed it was a 10-year-old boy who had died on the property in the 1800s and was buried there too in an unmarked grave. Oh, my God. My friend's house was on a farm at the edge of the town. We're all really freaked out. Because, sorry. That is so much information. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot, yeah, that yeah. That poor ten-year-old boy yeah. moving those seven pairs of hands around that board with all the spelling mistakes to get that much information. <laughs> it's a lot. That'd take a long time. So long. A <laughs> N D. Yeah. Oh my god! Here we go. Ten-year-old boy who died on the property in the eighteen hundreds was buried there on in an unmarked grave. We were all a bit freaked out because the board had never been so detailed. Or consistent, yeah, or that that bad spelling as well. Like well, there's no apostrophe really or anything good. on a no adjunct. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm vomiting. <laughs> However, we were still skeptical. We we're all amusing one another, and we thought it was, it was just trying to scare us. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Finally, my friend asked the spirit if it could do something to prove that it was there with us. Mm-hmm. It said yes. No. And then spelled out K N O C K. What's that spell, Sam? K O K N O. Knock. Oh God, you're good. Yeah. Then it stopped moving. We all just stared at it silently, and then there was a rap, rap, rap on the window right next to us. A rapper. Yeah, it was Snoop Dogg. <laughs> rap, 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 rap. Someone give me a beat. Rap, 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 rap. So I'm a ten-year-old boy. <laughs> Who died at the property, also really good. Really good, just wanted to show off. And hip-hop. Okay. Um, The lights were on outside and there was absolutely no one out there. We never touched that effing board again. What board? (laughs) Can you say it? No. The Ouija board. The Ouija board. What do you... That's scary. That is scary. Are you scared? That's scary. Like, is it spooky? Yeah, that's that's a spooky, wooky story. Okay, thanks for saying that because when I read it, I was like, that's spooky. Yeah. Rap, 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 <laughs> And that was Bron. And how, uh, 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 <laughs> Let's move on to the next gorgeous segment, yes. Would You Rather. Yeah. Each week we ask each other, would you rather, would you rather have feet as hands or a penis for a nose? Then I'm asking the first question here, Bron, right? Ready? You ready for this? Would you rather clog the toilet on a first date or first day at a new job? First day at a new job. Really? Heaps people to blame. Heaps <laughs> Well, you just blame it. Yeah. Even if someone saw you come out, you go, that was probably someone else. I just come out and be like, so, uh, that was like that when I walked in there. Mm. But it was a date. It was mm. just you and them. And they're like, well, it wasn't me. Yeah, okay. It was a 10-year-old boy from the 1800s. <laughs> he died on the property. <laughs> he said, knock, knock. I let him in. <laughs> and then he did that. Then he did and that. And I really yeah. regret. Okay. He rap, rap, wrapped his way in here. <laughs> he and rap, then rap, did rap. that. Shame on him. Shame no on wonder him. he's dead. I had a clogged toilet for three days this week. I beg your pardon. I had a clogged toilet for three days this week. I couldn't what? fix Last it. Last time I was at your house, yes, the leaf, the, the whole roof was the roof leaked. caved in. Yeah, it's a great house. <laughs> Structurally sound. <laughs> the and light switched. Like, it was raining, yes. and so the and light was And you couldn't put the lights leaking. on. It's fun. Yeah, and then they fixed that. No, they have. <laughs> they have said, "Don't touch that." Which is good. And I think that's, that's good safe. advice. Don't touch that. Was it a drunk auntie? It was. I actually only spoke to them through the Ouija bot, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> only go to spirit Ouija's. And so, yeah, toilet toilet clogged. And, which um, was your fault. was my fault. Unless you let your large dog. Was use my large dog is using it. And, uh, and the plumber came around. Yes. And he, you know, fixed it. Great. And he said, um, yeah, be careful. You don't want to put too many sloppy jalopies down there. That's the most upsetting sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> what? <laughs> sloppy? It's plumber humour. It's not. I it's upsetting. It is upsetting, isn't it? Sloppy jalopy. What did you, you don't want to hear that. I said, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Would you like a beer, sir? <laughs> really? Blood the top of a couple and of And then did you put a sloppy jalopy in it? <laughs> That's right. And he fell in love with me. <laughs> Would Wait, you ra- what? Is that your advice? That's that the advice you can't do a poop in there. Yeah, he said don't um don't do too many. Why <laughs> too many? I don't know. He didn't tell me that. He didn't specify. He said you shouldn't be using the half flush. I said why? He's like you can't use that anymore. What? He took it out. <laughs> he took out the half flush. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. And he said, yeah, just be careful with it. 
So I've got, I can't turn on the ceiling light and I can't use the toilet. You can't do a poop in your own apartment. That goes for everyone. Apartment. Can't do a sloppy jalopy. <laughs> so if I had to do a poop right now, yep. I have to go outside. That's right. <laughs> on the grass <laughs> with my big dog. Oh, my sloppy jalopies. <laughs> would you Would you rather share a bed with a walrus or an eel? Oh, a walrus. Isn't that fun? Yeah, they need water as well. A walrus. <laughs> <laughs> an eel. Oh, eel would be gross, if wouldn't a, it? If you were swimming in the ocean and yes, an eel, I have done that. Have you? Yep. You should have started the. <laughs> I should have started with that. Oh my god, <laughs> we wasted so much time talking about your sloppy jalopies. We've got no time. We've got no time. But if a an eel touched your leg, yeah, what would you do? I would probably grab it, <laughs> <laughs> look it in the face, and I would say, "Enough is enough." <sighs> Who you think you are compared to who you are is very different. I would grab an eel and I would look that right in the face. What about walrus? I'll say, listen up, sloppy jalopy. <laughs> what about a walrus? Yeah. I wouldn't grab that by the face. What would you do? Where would you grab it? <laughs> grab it on waist. the waist and say, you're doing a great job. Do you want to be spooned or do you want me to spoon you? That's beautiful. Yeah, I would say that. I feel like walruses would be nicer than eels. Absolutely. Eels be- are better evil. bed manners, I think. Yeah. Eels are why? Eels evil. Because at Ursula. Eelville. Had them. Eelville. Who had them? Ursula. Who's Ursula? Oh, dear you, from Little Mermaid. Oh, I thought you meant Ursula Calzone. <laughs> As if. She's still got no eels. Actually, she might. She's got no asked, eels. I haven't asked her. Well, okay. So, oh, Ursula from um, Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. She, she had, had eels. eels. And they were evil eels. They were evil. Electric. Okay. Electric. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just Pretty the fun. chemistry was the, electric. Yeah, really, They're really They incredible fun. to be around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. So this next segment, Sammy. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm ready for it. And this is what aunties do. It's what is aunties they give, do. Aunties love to give advice. <laughs> so I have got a life hack. Just I love this uh, advice when no one wants it. Yes. Yeah. Great. And things that like once I give this advice to you, yeah. you will never live your life the same way again. I don't want to. You shouldn't. <laughs> I don't want to have any. I don't want to go to bed because there's an eel in there. <laughs> um, okay. So this life yeah. hack, I've read lots of life hacks. I can imagine. Yeah, but I love this one a lot. Yeah. Because I think it's going to save people's lives. Wow. Yeah. I know. Life and that's what, hack. well, that, yeah, that is what aunties do. They save people's lives exactly. over a glass of wine and dry white wine <laughs> and saving a life. That's right. It should be doctor, auntie, to you. You can say that. That is, yeah. I Thank could you say so it. Much. And you I will. It. And I did. And I, I'm, I'm not going to say it right now, but maybe next episode. This little <laughs> forward sound for next episode could happen. Might not. Probably not. <laughs> okay. If you find it hard to remember you've done something important, like mm-hmm. turned off the oven or your hair straightener, Sammy. Oh, my okay? goodness. I'm always using that when I haven't got my tight perm. Exactly. <laughs> or locking your door. Like if you find, you know, when you're out, you're like, oh, did I do that yeah. thing? Yeah, like I've got a massive dog to exactly. attack whoever comes in. That oh, guy's so threatening. Got to train him. Yeah, he's really <laughs> Just attack, mate. Just go for it, I reckon. If you find these things hard to remember. Yeah. You just have to, when you do them, mm. do something unusual, like a little dance okay. or say a little ditty. Okay. And then when you're out and you're like, did I do And then you go, oh, yeah, I did a ditty after. Oh, that's good. And then you that's go, good. I did it. Okay, so did I turn the did I turn the oven off? Yes. Oh, yeah, I did because I did the worm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did something really unusual. I called my dad. I called my dad for once and told him I loved him. <laughs> I forgave myself. <laughs> it was a hilarious practical. And my house remains standing. That's re- that's a good that's a good life hack. Yeah, that's a good life hack. Okay, I like that. Okay, that's a fun that's a fun thing. To I do thought to it was a good remember. one. Yeah, and really I would good. like to know um, if you do do this, Sammy. Yeah, I want you to text me and be like, "This is what I did, and this is how it saved my life." I'll send you a video of me doing the worm if you want. <laughs> Next if that's to what your you're oven in your kitchen <laughs> with the exposed brick. Beautiful. Can can we say in yes. the kitchen? Beautiful exposed brick. Beautiful. It's real. It's real. Sammy has got uh, a new kitchen in mm. this house with the block toilet and the leaking roof. God, I like this house. It's a great I like house. It, I it like might it. be haunted. <laughs> I'm going to talk to my oh, uh, a little <laughs> later on today. But in the kitchen, there is um, a wall, large wall. Yep. And it is got. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> La- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wallpaper. Yeah. That looks like bricks. It looks like bricks. But, but the thing not. is, it's not. But, and it does, like it's it really crazy. doesn't look that real. But if you take a step what? back. Yeah, I know. I you're don't? shocked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it shocks people. When I moved into this house, and I spoke to the person about it and they were like, I, I went, that's gorgeous. And she went, it really is. <laughs> I was like, all right. Well, and then did she fall in love with you? She fell in love with me and oh we made it out in the kitchen. God. Yeah, and I did the worm to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Th- 
Thank you for listening to the first episode mm. of your two drunk aunties. And we have been the drunkest of aunties oh today. God. Oh, my goodness. So much advice. Oh. So much white wine. Oh, what, what wine. <laughs> Beautiful white wine. And please do write into us. Yeah, I want to We would solve, love to hear from you. We want to solve some things. We want to solve some goddamn things. Yeah. Dear drunk aunties at gmail.com. We own that out, right? Yeah. <laughs> and speakpipe.com slash drunk aunties. Now, that'll be in the show notes. Yeah. And don't worry, it's there. How do people Never find you, Bron Lewis? Um, I'll be in an apartment that's falling down <laughs> until you ask we me to leave. We might die. Okay. I'm not going to ask you to leave today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. You're staying with me in the walrus and the eel. I don't want to go home. My kids can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a joke for them. This is good. Hot, I'm like, depressed. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say that to them every day. That's fine. <laughs> I'm depressed. <laughs> Hey, mum, I'm depressed. You do, have, you do have a joke for them. Yeah, and it's one that you told. I Are you just going to walk in and just say the joke? Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully they'll go, that was good. You've earned your keep for another night, mother, but they <laughs> won't say that. They'll write on an wedge app. <laughs> <laughs> Bron Lewis, people find you at Bron Lewis Yep. Bron Lewis Yep on Instagram. That's indeed. So good. What about you? I can find me at Sammy P. No, Sammy Peterson 91 oh on Instagram. <laughs> I always get this wrong. I always get <laughs> can't never get that right. Sammy Peterson 91 and my other podcast confessions. You can find that on all the yeah, podcasts. Yeah, it's a good one. I love that Just go and check it out. We're about to record an episode of it. Oh, How good's that? So that good. feels right. Also, 91, is that the year of your birth? Yep. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? This is a funny joke. Okay. I don't, I don't I'll like I'll say it to my kids, see what they think. I'm too sensitive. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> You're too drunk, aunties, that have a fight at the end of each podcast. <laughs> no, I'm done. Turn that thing off. Never trusted her. <laughs> Knew she'd ruin it. <laughs> From one drunk auntie to another, good night, everybody. Good night.